once you've scheduled a Facebook live stream, well, how do you start that scheduled Facebook live stream? I'm going to show you today why you must use third party software to connect to that scheduled stream and how to connect to it from our favorite softwares, Ecamm for Mac and vMix for PC. But don't worry, the steps are the same for most any software you might be using. Are you ready to dig into how to start a scheduled Facebook live stream? Let's do this. Most people make the mistake of scheduling a Facebook live stream without realizing that you have to use a third party software in order to use that scheduled Facebook live video. To be honest, it is not your fault. Facebook is kind of vague about the process and you kind of have to know the industry language to even understand what Facebook is saying. I'm going to clear that all up for you right now. By the way, I'm Laria Petrucci and I help you grow your audience and your business with more authentic and professional live streams. If you're new around here, please type new in the comments. I want to meet you. Now, through this process of using third-party software, it actually gives you the opportunity to create more professional live streams and do a lot more cool stuff than you can from your phone or by going live directly on Facebook, like share your screen or put up graphics on screen, things like that. First, just head on over to your Facebook page, scroll down to the right a post section, and you'll notice this live button. Now, if it's not in the same exact spot as you see here, just look, uh, go through all of the options in the post area and it will be somewhere there. So click live. You'll notice these long strings of numbers and they kind of look just weird, right? <laughs> well, these numbers are vital for your scheduled live stream. It's how you connect your live stream to your software, either Ecamm or vMix in the examples today. So these numbers are very important. You cannot stream without them to this scheduled live stream. By the way, after you schedule your live stream, if you need to access that information again, all you need to do is go to your scheduled live stream, click admin only, edit your details, and then you'll have access to the RTMP and the server URL right there at any time you need it. Okay, so now how exactly do you connect? to this scheduled stream. Well, we recommend two softwares, Ecamm if you're on a Mac and vMix on a PC. There are videos linked to in the description with more info about each of these pieces of software. Let's take a look at how you start your scheduled stream from Ecamm. Now in Ecamm, you actually have, once you're logged in, you'll see the destination down here and all of the information. So you can go to anything that you have a login for and then you can in this case our scheduled live stream is under the live streaming pros page so we'll go to that and then you can post to a group or to your page timeline which is exactly what we want now you uh, will actually have the option of seeing any scheduled posts that you have available on that page and so you can just choose one of those and go live directly to that at the scheduled time. Or you can, just a quick side note, actually schedule your live streams directly from Ecamm, which is a nice feature. So once you choose your scheduled live stream, you're going to click preview. And by the way, I do have a complete tutorial series on Ecamm, how to use it, how to set it up all of the nifty little tricks that you can do uh, and you can find that link in the description. So when it's time, you can actually just hit the preview button and then we're live because we hit the time. So you don't have to do anything other than hit preview before the time is scheduled to go live and then automatically it will show that you are live because that timer with Facebook has run out. Is this helpful by the way? Leave a comment and let me know. All right, now let's look at how to start your scheduled Facebook live stream on vMix. Okay, so let's talk about how you actually start a scheduled stream from vMix, which is our favorite PC software. So this is vMix, but we're gonna actually start over in uh, your Facebook page, uh, and I've scheduled a post. So what you wanna do is find that on your page and then click the admin only edit your details button. And then we're going to go over here 
and you'll notice two uh, pieces of information. This is the RTMP uh, information that you're going to need, the server URL and then the stream key. So first of all, copy the server URL, go over into Facebook, I mean to vMix, <laughs> click the gear button beside stream and that will bring up your settings. So now that you have your settings brought up, we want destination custom RTMP server. And then we're going to make sure that this is what we just copied. Get rid of all of this and go back in to Facebook and copy the stream key. Come back into vMix and just paste that click save and close and you are good to go all right i just need to interrupt you really quick larry to let you know you forgot one thing uh when you are setting up your stream you do want to make sure that you have your facebook information here but one thing you also want to make sure is that you have 720 and 4 megabits per second to stream to facebook because that's the max they will accept right now so just click on the gear Come in here, set this to 4,000. Make sure this is at 1280 by 720. And an easy way to get there would just be to click this down arrow, find 720 on here. Uh, you got 724, 722.5, so choose that, four. Uh, and if you don't see four, choose the closest to it and then just click the gear. Make sure that's at 4,000. Set your profile to high, your level to 4.1, and your preset very fast and then the rest of it leave exactly how it is and click save, save and close. And now you're actually ready to stream. Now, once the scheduled time has come, all you need to do is click that stream button and it'll turn red when it's streaming. And now you're live. If you want more tips, strategies, and how to's for your live video, subscribe and turn on those bell notifications so you can grow your audience quicker. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.